dear students of AWMC 9 assalamu alaikum today i am going to discuss about anti epileptic drugs part 1 epilepsy affects 5 to 10 per thousand of the general population the term epilepsy is used to define a group of neurological disorders all of which exhibit periodic seizures. It is due to sudden excessive depolarization of some or all cerebral neurons. This may remain localized, that is focal seizure, or may spread to cause a secondary generalized seizure, or affect all cortical neurons simultaneously, that is primary generalized seizure. Anti-epileptic drugs, sometimes known as anti-conversion drug, are used to treat epilepsy as well as non-epileptic convulsive disorder. Epilepsy was treated with bromide in 1857 and phenobarbital was introduced in 1912 to control patients resistant to bromides. The next significant advance came in 1938 with phenytoin, a hydantoin derivatives, which structure resembles the barbiturates. Subsequent discoveries produced many other anticonversants but phenytoin remains a drug of choice. Epilepsy is a heterogeneous symptom complex, a chronic disorder characterized by recurrent seizure. Seizure is finite episodes of brain dysfunction resulting from abnormal discharge of cerebral neurons. It may or may not be associated with convulsion and consciousness. Now the criteria of epilepsy. It's a chronic disorder familial disorder, episodic nature of the attacks, paroxysmal nature of each episode, and e electroencephalogram changes. And etiology or causes of epilepsy, primary or idiopathic is 75% and secondary causes 25%. Secondary causes are infection, brain tumors, stroke, following new surgery, head injury, birth injury, trauma, etc. And the classification of epilepsy. Epilepsy may be partial or generalized or partial seizure, secondarily generalized. Partial seizure. Excess neural discharge occurs in a restricted area of brain. They may be simple, complex, partial seizure, secondarily generalized. Generalized seizure, excess neuronal discharge occurs in wide area of brain. Generalized, generalized seizures are tonic, conic, clonic or granular epilepsy, absence of petitmal epilepsy, myotonic or atonic, myoclonic and aplonic, and infantile spasm. Now the drugs for partial and generalized tonic clonic seizure are phenytoin, carbamazepine, sodium valproate, and barbiturates. Others are lamotrigine, gabapentin, pregabalin, topiramate. In absence of petitmal seizure, ethosaxamide, sodium valproate, lamotrigine, topiramate, clonazepam. Now the classification of anti-epileptic drugs according to chemical nature. Hydantoin derivatives such as phenytoin, barbiturates, phenobarbitum, immunostevens, carbamazepin, benzodiazepines, clonazepam, diazepines, valproic acid derivatives, sodium valproate, succinimide derivatives, ethosuximide, newer drugs, lamotrigine, gabapentin, bigabetrin, topiramate, etc. Now, the classification of intercrucial drugs according to their clinical use. Generalized seizure. In primary generalized tonic, clonic, or granular epilepsy, drug of choice, lamotrigine, sodium valproate, alternative phenytoin, carbamazepine, clonazepam, topiramate. In absence of petitmal epilepsy, drug of choice is sodium valproate, ethosuximide. Alternative is lamotrigine, clonazepam. In myotonic, atonic um, epilepsy, sodium valproate is a drug of choice, sodium valproate, lamotrigine, and clonazepam. In myoclonic drug of choice is sodium valproate, clonazepam, alternative is lamotrigine. In partial seizure or secondary generalized seizure, the drug of choice is sodium valproate, carbamazepine, alternative of phenytoin, lamotrigine, gabapentin, topiramine. Now, the principles of management. Any causative factor must be treated, that is, cerebral neoplasm, educate the patient about the disease, duration of treatment, and need for compliance. 
avoid precipitating factors such as alcohol, sleep deprivation, emotional stress. Anticipate natural variation that is treats may occur particularly around periods in women, catamania epilepsy. Give antidepressant drugs only if seizure type and frequency require it. That is more than one hit every six to twelve months. General guide to antidepressant drugs. Therapy should start with a single well tried and safe drug. The majority of patients can be controlled on one drug that is monotherapy. Anticonvulsant drug treatment should be appropriate to the type of seizure disorder. Example, carbamazepine is a drug of first choice for focal and secondary generalized epilepsy but aggravates myoclonic and absence seizures. Sodium valproate and lamotrigine have a wide spectrum of action and active against both primary and secondary generalized epilepsy. Age and sex also determine the choice of drug. This is particularly true of women for teratogenesis that is sodium valproate and adverse effect on their appearance. It is hirsutism from phenytoin. If control of a patient, patient's epilepsy with a single drug is unsuccessful, it should be replaced by a second line drug, although these drugs are effective in only about 10% of cases. There is little evidence that three drugs are better than two. More drugs give more adverse effects. Abrupt withdrawal. Effective therapy must never be stopped suddenly either by the doctor or by the patient. For status epilepticus may occur, but if rapid withdrawal is required by the occurrence of toxicity, a substantial dose of another anti-epilepsy drug should be given at once. Now the pathogenesis of epilepsy. Development of epileptic focus in the brain due to deficiency of GABA activity, excess NMD neuromediator, dopaminergic activity in neurons, hyper irritability of the neuron, spreading of impulse, Interpreted drugs aim to inhibit the abnormal neuronal discharge rather than to correct the underlying cause. The main mechanism of action appear to be important. Enhancement of GABA action, inhibition of sodium channel function, inhibition of calcium channel function. Now the monitoring. Monitoring is blood concentration of the drug, electroencephalogram, liver function test. And advice to the patient are Avoid tension, excessive stress, gathering, physical travel. Accompany any identity card. Now, the important drug is phenytoin. It is the oldest non sedative anti seizure drug introduced in 1938. It is it resembles to barbiturates. Pharmacokinetics of phenytoin is route of administration is oral or parenteral, that is, IV. Plasma protein binding 90%, so dose increment should be smaller and less frequent because the small changes in binding will result in a higher concentration of free active drug. Therapeutic or low dose follow first order kinetics and high dose follow zero order kinetics. That is, it follows both order of kinetics. Plasma half life is 12 to 36 hours. Phenytoin causes hepatic enzyme induction due to induction of hepatic enzymes that metabolizes it as well as other drugs and dietary and endogenous substances including vitamin D and folate. And the indications of phenytoin are all types of partial seizure, generalized tonic-clonic seizure, status epilepticus, cardiac arrhythmia. Contraindications of phenytoin are pregnancy, hepatitis, history of hypersensitivity to phenytoin, febrile convulsion, drug interruption. Pharmacodynamics of phenytoin. Mechanism of action is it blocks voltage dependent sodium channels in the neuronal membrane with a membrane stabilizing effect, no neuronal firing, anti epileptic effect is found. Inhibits calcium influx, no release of neurotransmitter for excitation that is aspartate, glutamate, and we found anti epileptic effect. Now, the adverse effects of phenytoin are gum hyperplasia, megaloblastic anemia, osteomalacia, hirsutism, nystigmas, ataxia, diplopia, impairment of cognitive function. The causes of adverse effects. Gum hyperplasia is due to inhibition of collagen catabolism. Megaloblastic anemia is due to folate metabolism. There is folate deficiency. Increased folate metabolism causes folate deficiency. Osteomalacia due to Increased metabolism of vitamin D, 
and inhibition of intestinal absorption of calcium and there is vitamin D deficiency. Arsacism due to increased androgen secretion. Phenytoin is a potent inducer of hepatic enzyme, so it causes metabolism of other drugs. There is some drug intrusion such as phenytoin plus OCP, the oral contraceptive pill, contraceptive failure, phenytoin plus warfarin causes blood coagulation, phenytoin plus vitamin D causes tumoritia because it causes metabolism of these drugs. It is all about part 1 of antiepileptic drugs. See you in the next session. Okay. Stay safe.